When I was in junior high or high school, I took a class in which the teacher taught us to analyze commercials and advertisements so that we don't fall for the rhetoric or emotional appeal of an advertisement or commercial and buy a product or service that we don't really need. For example, commercials and ads will sometimes use the bandwagon effect saying, don't be the last to get this product. Everybody's buying it. Be popular. So by buying this product, you'll be joining the crowd. That's not a good reason to buy a product or service, is it? And likewise, the commercials and ads will sometimes promise more than they can deliver, saying, if you buy this service or product, you'll be happy, you'll be fulfilled, you'll be satisfied, you'll be sexier, smarter, uh, richer, what, whatever. We know that's not true in most cases as well. And yet we keep going after these things. We Not only the products, but we keep going after the supposed promises, uh, the things that are promised by the advertisements and by the uh, ads and by the actual possession of these things. We know it's not true, and yet we keep doing it. And that can make us feel depressed and frustrated and angry and rather empty. So the spiritual life offers something different. And that is giving, giving up the hunt, the search, the dream, the hope that buying one thing will make us happy and simply inviting us to turn within to find our happiness. More tomorrow. I'm Jeffrey. I'm a spiritual companion at interiorspaciousness.com.